How's it going? I've got a dart I want to test out. It's about the body of the dart itself. The wooden part is 12 and a half inches long. And I have drilled a hole and uh, put a bolt in the end here just to give it some weight up front. Um, it That's where its center of mass is or where it balances at. Uh, I guess you can see the wind <laughs> from the direction the wind is going. Um, wooden fins. Um, I'll probably show you all how I cut those out, but you can see the grain is going that way. Um, I've got several, several ways I want to try and launch it. That is, uh, with the, the weight right here, with the balance, where it's balanced about like that, I should be able to spin this and, um, the bolt will track. Let's scoot back. See, it's tracking, staying in line, all right? Something else I can do, different technique is launching it from the front where the back end is gonna sling out. See, like that. But it'll straighten up when it releases, all right? And then another way would be uh, from the back, you would have to launch the sling with it like this. That will also launch, okay? But you got to launch the sling with it. Um, the ideally... Ideally, you you don't want to launch the sling with it. That's extra drag, and it will stabilize a a dart. You know, it, it will fly fine with the string. The sling still attached, but you need a new sling every time. Um, and you're giving them a projectile that they can sling back at you. You really don't want to do that. Um, so. This is how we've been launching them out of the little, the little trebuchets, the little whippers, uh, with it attached just in front, so it balances about like that, and it it tracks pretty well, and you can adjust this tracking by where you have it gripped. You know, at some point there's going to be optimal release and if you're trying to run a pin use a release pin mounted it's it's going to be really tough to uh, adjust it and get any kind of consistency out of it this dart is probably is more like a plumbeta I believe is how you say it um, they it's like a lawn dart they they have a little extension of the shaft off the back where you hold it and then you just your hand throw it and typically they'll have a big weight and then a barbed front of some kind barbed tip roman bolts were shaped more like this fat at the back uh weighted at the, the front two two flights wooden flights uh, but anyways, this is what I want to try, and uh, I have an arm here, one of my old arms, kind of a weird grabber thing where, uh, like a F2K, where the counterweight comes down, and the weight bar grab or hits here, and that shock closes this, and then it grips it. It actually worked. We used it several times, but today we're going to try and use it to uh, launch this thing here and I don't know how long to make the sling so let's just do something like this make a little loop 
we do we have a release pin on there and let's uh, make a little adjustment here all right ready get the dark doing what we want Three, two, one. All right, that that worked. Um, I knew it would, but now I need to uh, set some release pins and uh, and see what happens. All right, first test. I've driven a hook in there and my thought and we're going to use both really both pins we're going to use both pins and my thought is to project the dart the dart is going to swing out the back end is going to swing out all right it's going to come around like that and then release off the the arm the dart will straighten out and then dump the sling that way you know it's just right up in front of the machine you can go grab it you can have several of them and just keep keep retrieving them this way your release pin on the arm sets sets everything But the dart did what I thought it would do. It may have gotten trapped. I don't know if you can see that. Right there, how I have it rigged up. So what I'm going to do, put a piece of tape in there. So it can't get trapped in there. And we will try that again. I think it'll work. Sweet. All right. All right. I tried setting the pin like that, and you can see maybe those small. There's two other holes there. Um, it wouldn't even stay on. It just it just wanted to fall off. It just wanted to fall off the loop wanted to, the release loop wanted to fall off slide off um, so I moved it way forward of balance I was just right in front of balance I moved it way forward um, and bent it to where it would stay on but then it wouldn't release because um, it won't track correctly so really it looks like this double looped release sling thing um, is going to work the best out of these options. Uh, it will do just fine if you have it from the back, dangled from the back, but then you, you lose your sling and it can be fired back at you. So, it looks like that's our best option. From the front, double release sling.
Let's do that one more time. Where's one at? Oh, I didn't get it. I think it's still out in the field. I'll just make another one real quick. Short one. Throw. But it, the sling released. Made a pan adjustment. Have a short sling or a shorter sling. I'm going to see if I can get a higher. That's 200 feet. I say success.